This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. An important message to conservatives caught in the path of Hurricane Sandy. You will soon be facing the worst thing imaginable. Help from the federal government. Rest assured that when Mitt Romney is elected, you won't have to worry about federal assistance after a disaster. Every time you have an occasion to take something from the federal government and send it back to the states, that's the right direction. And if you can go even further and send it back to the private sector, that's even better. That's where we come in. We're Bain Capital Disaster Response, LLC. At Bain, we realize there's nothing we can do to convince 47% of disaster victims to take personal responsibility. So we concentrate on the 1% who deserve help, like this happy customer. Oh, they're wonderful people, yes. When some of my artwork at my beachfront home was damaged, Bain arranged for me to purchase a ski lodge in Aspen and use it as a tax write-off. <laughs> That's right. At Bain, we know the first thing you need in any disaster is shelter tax shelter. When disaster strikes a wealthy area, our team of lawyers and accountants are there immediately. Yes, but in a natural disaster, won't there be thousands of regular people made homeless who desperately need food and water or something? Don't worry. We know how to take care of them, too. After a disaster, Bain also provides armed security to keep the hungry riffraff away from your supplies of food, fresh water, and your Kobe beef. Next time disaster strikes, ask your broker about Bain disaster response. I'm Mitt Romney, and I approve this message. <laughs> there are a vast number of New Jerseyans today without power. In fact, we currently have 2.4 million New Jersey households without power. This is, just so you understand the order of magnitude here, this is twice the number of impacted households from, as Hurricane Irene. Hurricane Irene was 1.2 million impacted households. This is 2.4 million impacted households. During Hurricane Irene, um, restoration took eight days for full restoration. For Hurricane Sandy, the full restoration may in fact take longer. Full damage assessment will not be complete until 24 to 48 hours due to some of the weather delays. They cannot develop the time frame for restoration until damage assessments are underway. And obviously, these difficult weather conditions are making this more of a challenge. All right. So it took eight days to get power on uh, after Hurricane Irene last year. And uh, that was half the number of people who are without power uh, after Hurricane Sandy. Uh, let's listen to what the conservative prescription for Hurricane Irene power restoration sounds like. Here's Eric Cantor on CBS, August 26, 2011, talking about what kind of help the federal government could give in Hurricane Irene. Given your background and everything you've said, you believe that any federal money that comes out for Hurricane Irene needs to be met dollar for dollar with spending cuts? Is that right? Again, just like any family uh, would operate when it's struck with disaster. It finds the money it needs to to take care of a sick loved one or what have you, and then goes without trying to buy a new car or put an addition onto the house. Does Eric Cantor know what his job is? Does he have any clue what a congressman is supposed to do? Does he have any idea what we pay taxes for? Does he have any idea what the Constitution says? Does he know that he's supposed to be there for the general welfare of the people and no other reason? Does he not know that? Every single time Paul Ryan and Eric Cantor and the House Republicans get together, they either force a 43% reduction in the primary FEMA grants that pay for preparedness, and then on the back end, they refuse the budget requests when FEMA requests money for disasters. Uh, they demand that other valuable programs be cut to pay for them. The Ryan budget, which Mr. Romney has praised as an excellent piece of work, has severe cuts to FEMA and the Republican instigated sequester, which cuts disaster relief by another 8.2 percent on top of the earlier reductions. If these Republicans have their way, then there won't be anybody coming 